Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and Barbecue TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Barbecue. Let's get it done. As always, this series is inspired by the popular Roll for Sandwich series by Adventures in Ardia. All right, let's roll for meat. Four, pork. Okay, let's see how we're making this today. Four, pork tenderloin. Okay, next to pork belly, pork tenderloin is one of my favorite cuts on a pig. We're just trimming off some of the surface fat and removing that silver skin on the pork tenderloin. All right, now let's roll for binder. Six, oil. Okay, this will give us a nice neutral profile. We're actually gonna be using some olive oil on these. Make sure you coat both sides and now it's time to roll for rubs. Eight, Daly's Barbecue, and nine, How to Barbecue Right. All right, let's start with that Daly's rub with our 10-sided die. And we have rolled an eight, Swine Salt. Now this is my first time using the Swine Salt. From what I read, it's gonna add a spice profile to this pork, and it's literally designed for pork. Now we're rolling for Killer Hogs. Seven, the Barbecue Rub. I like this rub because it's gonna add another depth of flavor to this pork tenderloin, and it's gonna add some beautiful color when we smoke this. And now it's time to roll for wood. Five, hickory wood. All right, we're throwing a couple chunks of hickory wood inside the char griller auto Kamado grill, and we're gonna be smoking at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit until we hit an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. After an hour and a half, we're gonna get these pulled off the grill and covered in tin foil. Now it's time to roll for wild magic. 18, peanut butter. <sighs> okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this all sliced up after we've rested it for 10 minutes. It's juicy, so let's ruin it with some peanut butter. We had a perfect roll last episode, and now the dice are back with a vengeance. So let's go for the D20 sauce roll. 19, Frank's Red Hot. Now that I think of it, I think this could possibly work, but there's only one way to find out. Here we go. Okay. The hickory wood really absorbed into this tenderloin. It's also working really well with the seasonings, but the strong suit here is definitely the vinegar from the Frank's Red Hot. It's almost like a Thai peanut spicy pork tenderloin. It honestly tastes like a creation you would get in your MRE, you know, except the pork is actually real meat. Overall, it's not bad. I definitely wouldn't recreate it again, but it's not bad. So for that, we're gonna give this one a 7.3 out of 10. And we're gonna call this the MRE Pork Chops. That's it for episode 21. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you at the next barbecue.